What is the mental game to you? Is the mental game just about being tough, getting over things quickly, being the man? No. Mental game is not only being tough and being emotionally resilient, it's also about thinking and strategizing around the golf course. These are the 13 mental errors people make on the golf course and you can fix them. I'm going to show you how. The first mental error is people coming to the golf course and thinking that other people are judging them and then they get into their own head not being able to play the game properly because they're so worried about external things and the truth is no one cares how good or bad you are. They only care if you're good company. What a shot. In play, not a grady but a straighty. You don't automatically pull your longest club because the longest club is going to get you in deep, deep trouble down there. You want to play the shots that you're safe to hit into safe areas, feeling confident and comfortable. When you try to play other people's games or things you've been propagandized into playing, that's when you have serious mental problems because you know you're doing something you can't do and then you're frustrated because you did it even though your instinct said no. And you'll find all these tips are tied to ego, which we'll talk about in a bit. We like to play within our capabilities. If you play outside your capabilities, you're making a mental error. I'm hitting shots that I know I can hit. If I start trying to do professional level full Mickelson shots, I'm just going to have a bad time on the golf course. And that is how you fix your mental game by staying within yourself, within your capabilities. I've got 120 yards here. I'm going to hit an eight iron up on the left side there. So I, I hopefully miss out the bunkers if I don't catch all of it. And that's like my capability, right? I'm, a left, I'm not a left-hander, and I've left it just left of the green there. I didn't go in the bunker, destroying my chances of a, a bogey or par here. A humongo's mental error is watching the PGA Tour on the television or Live Golf, whatever you prefer to watch. And then you watch a highlight package, and you see all the best shots in a row non-stop, thinking, well, this is how you play golf. And you come thinking you're going to play those same shots, but you don't have the skill level. And that can really make you frustrated very quickly because you're expecting one thing and completely opposite comes out. Now, am I gonna get up and down here and hit this like low spinner, like a pro golfer? No, not in a chance in hell because I never hit those shots. So I'm gonna try to run this one up with my pitching wedge and hopefully get it close. If I don't, I understand that even on the PGA Tour, they're only gonna get up and down from here like 50, 55% of the time. Okay, weights on the front, hands ahead. Probably need to chip that with a nine or eight iron, but it's up there. So knowing that at eight, nine feet, we're looking at between 40 and 50% of these putts going in for professionals, we can, we can put our expectations a bit lower. And if we make 50% of them, we're as good as a pro. If we don't, that's fine. Look at that. So that's one of the 50% I miss. Beautiful. We played the hole, we didn't let the hole play us. We talk about ego, but we're not talking about the death of the ego, an ego death, like those ethereal spiritual things. You've got to have an ego, otherwise what do you have? But you can't let that ego get in the way of your golf. And one of the worst ways is that expectation of perfection, and then you don't have that perfection. You have this roller coaster of emotions through a round of golf. You really want to keep that emotion steady. But if you do have that roller coaster, you can use that. But you have to find a way of transmuting that energy, that angry, that frustrated energy into concentration like Tiger Woods would. And it's a powerful, powerful thing. But if you let it overwhelm you and put you in a negative death spiral, you're done. You're done. You can't play. You get too tense. You, you think about everything. If you can use that as a way to get more in your process, more focus, it's going to be even more powerful. But you have to learn to make that switch. But When your best rounds of golf have always been when you're not thinking about too much, but when you're judging, when you're worrying about your mechanics because your ego is getting in the way, you can't get to that place. Focus less on the results. Focus more on your process. Focus more on the feeling that you want to bring to the course. And whatever happens, happens. Just continue step by step doing what you planned. Man, I'm getting quite good at this left-handed thing, huh? The other thing you have with the ego is that you tie your self-worth to the golf shots. You tie your self-worth to the end of the round score. But there's nothing in there that reflects your self-worth. Is life unfair? Is the world caving in on you? Is the sky going to fall? No. 
You're just making up all that stuff in your head, which helps you to use it as a shield as to why you're playing so badly. Everything's against you. The whole world's against you. No, it's a freaking golf shot. Hit the ball, move on, hit another one. Wow, that's a straight pull right. And you know what? The good thing about that shot, it had nice backspin on it. <laughs> Be careful who you allow into your brain. Because if you allow it to fester, you can start to make some funny ideas in there and you get down the road and you think to yourself, man, where did that come from? So be careful whose opinions you take on and also start thinking for yourself. Does this make sense to me? Come on, Matty. Well, that's good enough. On, and on the fringe in four. You can't force yourself into a box. I play with Tim Urban from Tacoma and he would chip this. I would say to most people, put it. But if your instinct and your best feeling is to chip, you have to do what you want to do. Don't squash yourself into someone else's box. Put yourself in your own box and play your best game. I'm always going to putt this just because I don't believe in my chipping, especially left-handed. I believe in my putting infinitely more. Look at that. A big mental error is aiming for phantom shots. And phantom shots are generally shots that you think are just gonna go dead straight when you know very well you don't hit a dead straight shot very often. Often you hit one shot shape, which you then don't aim for, always anticipating this miraculous straight shot. I'm gonna set this one up to the right of the green and hopefully it just fades into the hole. But if I go dead at the hole and I fade it, I could go in the bunker or in the trees down there. So these phantom shots really hurt you when you're not taking into account your shot shape. Well, it doesn't really prove my point, so I'll hit another one. See, look at that. It's like a baby fader, and that's what we want to play. And that's money over there. We don't want to hit phantom shots dead at the pin or straight down the middle of the fairway if we know our general shot shape. Okay, is we're on the green. Right or right to left. <laughs> what a good touch. Biggest mental problem I've seen, especially with like um, nine to maybe 16 handicappers, is an expectation of bad things after one shot, after a 75% good shot. They'll automatically start saying things like, oh, I had such a nice drive, now this is probably gonna be a bogey. Or they'll hit it to just short of the green and be like, well, it's probably gonna be a bogey anyway. I don't know what kind of attitude that is, your prediction's gonna come true. So the best thing you can do is just play it shot by shot, leave the previous one behind, the past does not predict the future in golf. It can if you let it, but if you also look at a brighter future, had a, have a better shot in, and you're gonna hit a good one, you're gonna hit a good one more likely than if you go in there thinking you're gonna screw the hole up. So you gotta be more positive about your skills. Look at that, absolutely money. I drive it better left-handed than right-handed. An aspect of the mental game that is often overlooked is the idea of conservative versus aggressive golf, pat-pat golf, etc. People think the conservative style of play means to just lay up all the time and play against your natural instincts, which is wrong because you self-sabotage yourself. As soon as you start playing shots that you don't know how to hit in order to appear conservative, you actually screw yourself up. Now, a conservative shot here is still an attacking shot. It's just that you're giving yourself you're protecting the downside and also keeping the upside in your view. If I try to hit a conservative shot, putting it on the left edge of the green there without taking into account my shot shape, I'm just hitting a stupid shot. So conservative target, cocky swing. That's what we're talking about. Okay, a little bit short. We don't know our distances yet, so we'll get better as we play more. So I'm gonna bump this eight iron on the front and hopefully roll it up nice and close with an eight iron chip. Wow, even works left-handed. <laughs> hey, I think that's a par, par. The only real mental game tip you really need from this video is to know yourself, know your distances, know your shot shape, know your tendencies, know your mental game tendencies in certain areas, know what you can do, know what you can't do. If you know yourself, your golf just gets better and better and better, but you have to listen to yourself and resist the urge for the shiny object or trying to fit into someone else's mold. 
In summary, when you're watching my channel, looking at tips, always remember how does this apply to you? Use your instincts, use your best game. Don't take things too literally in terms of what clubs I'm hitting, what advice you think is being said. It's all about you and you understanding your game. And that's the pursuit that you need to chase when you play golf. What a beauty. Well, as always, I don't want to be right on this hole because now I've got to... Oh, that's okay. Let's open the green up. Come on, on the green. Let's get out of here. Two putskis. <laughs> now, if you like this video, there's a reason I am the high handicap whisperer. Check out this video over here. It's going to help you improve your mental game and your strategy and your gameplay in general right over here.